Now that you understand normal circuit conditions, it's time to discuss fault conditions. Most common fault conditions are open circuit, short circuit, overload, over voltage and under voltage. Open circuit fault. Have you ever come across a situation when you try to turn on a light but flipping the switch doesn't work? The most likely culprit here is an open circuit fault and could be caused by a number of reasons, one of which may be that the light itself is faulty. So the criteria for an open circuit fault condition are control device is engaged but the load is not working and no current is flowing in the circuit. Short circuit. A short circuit occurs when a part of the circuit is bypassed by a contact or a wire. The most common type of short circuit is a dead short where the path between the live conductor and the neutral or earthing conductor is least resistive. Something like sticking a knife in a toaster or a wire across the battery terminals. The most likely outcome of this situation is a trip circuit breaker or a melted wire because the current is too high. So the criteria for a dead short fault are very low resistance between live conductor and neutral or earthing conductor, very high current, which causes a circuit protection device to operate. Overload. An overload is the most common of all the fault conditions. For example, what happens when you turn on too many electrical appliances and the circuit breaker trips? Usually you would turn off one, uh, one of the appliances and then turn on the circuit breaker and it's all good. This is an overload fault condition. So the criteria for overload are too many appliances on the same circuit, which causes the current to be high enough to trip the circuit breaker on that circuit. Over voltage. An over voltage condition is when the voltage supply is higher than what the load requires. The most common situation of over voltage you may have come across is a surge where there is a momentary spike in voltage and it damages the sensitive devices connected to the supply. An increase in voltage causes an increase in current, which increases the overall power and that sensitive devices cannot handle. So the criteria for over voltage are voltage is higher than the requirement, which causes an increase in current and ultimately increase in power. Under voltage. Have you ever noticed how sometimes your lights get dimmer than usual? This usually happens when the current demand increases suddenly, like an old refrigerator compressor kicking in. This is the result of an under voltage fault condition. In this situation, the supply voltage is lesser than the load requirement, which means the load gets less current than it needs and overall power is also less. So the criteria for under voltage are voltage is lesser than the requirement, which causes a reduction in the current and ultimately reduction in power for the load. We have covered a few fault conditions in this video and we will discuss how to find and fix some of these faults as we progress. If you found this video informative, please like it and if you know someone who can benefit from it, please share it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.